Ever had a bad dream? Well, dreams are something we have every night. In a certain part of the night, we go into a deep REM sleep, and that's when we access our unconscious mind. That's when our unconscious mind communicates to us in symbols, in characters, maybe people we know, interesting stories, interesting events happening in our dreams, all to tell us what is going on in our unconscious mind. Now, dreams are a tremendous gift. If you're new to the concept of understanding your unconscious mind, understand that your unconscious mind, when you're asleep, allows you to resolve unconscious conflicts because obviously, because you're not moving. It's a place for your unconscious mind, for your mind to, to, to sort through things that you believe. Now, for me, years ago, I kept a, a dream journal and I still sometimes write down dreams today. But only recently, I started to ask myself, what is the feeling behind that event in that dream? Or what is, what is it that I believe on an unconscious level that is creating that particular scenario in my dream? Have you ever had a recurring dream? For me, I used to have a recurring dream which used to happen every, every few weeks. I would get this dream and I would wake up breathing heavily. I'd be worried and I'd be concerned. You know, why did I have such a dream? What does it mean? And I'm sure you've had dreams like that. And then only recently again, I started asking myself, okay, what is the belief programs that I have on an unconscious level that is that I have yet to resolve that are causing that dream or that series of recurring dreams? And I realized that it was, without going into detail, that I had a belief on an unconscious level that had been handed down to me through my DNA, through my ancestry, something that had been, you know, part of being born in Australia and, and, and having Australian ancestors, this had created this belief program in me. And so what I did is I actually went and surrendered and cleared this belief program. So that was an interesting process I just told you about and I gave you a clue there. First of all, I was able to decode what my dream, what my recurring sort of distressing dream was telling me I, I was able to decode the belief program and feelings behind that dream. Then I was able to clear that belief program completely on a permanent basis. From there, I haven't had that dream ever since. And because we have, seriously, we have thousands, tens upon thousands of beliefs in our unconscious mind, that can't, that's passed down from ancestors over thousands of years to the very point to the unique individual that you and I are right here right now in this present time and space your dreams are gifts your dreams are telling you what's going on in your unconscious mind I had a dream last night and I was able to go back to the the because obviously when you wake up you can still remember certain aspects of your dream off you write it down I've gotten very good at remembering my dreams when I wake up I'm able to remember sort of each aspect of my dream. Some people can't remember their dreams at all. Well, if you get in the habit of writing them down when you wake up, putting certain keywords, put a keyword to describe, a couple of keywords to describe a certain aspect of your dream. So if you're on a bus, you say bus, write, wake up and write down bus. And as soon as you look at the word bus, you'll remember the whole sort of aspect of the dream. So what I did was I, I don't need to write down anymore, obviously, because I'm doing a lot, been doing it for many years. But I just went through every part of my dream and I thought, what was that about? What is the, and again, I asked the question, what are the belief programs on an unconscious level that are triggering that scenario in my dream? Why is my unconscious mind wanting to communicate that to me? And I was able to identify the unconscious beliefs and I thought, wow, that's really interesting. I did not know that I believe that. And then obviously in the second stage, as I showed you, I was able to clear that and surrender that and get rid of that. And so that's what you, your every night is a, it's a bountiful gift basket, which is your dreams. You can either just choose to see your dreams as like weird fan, you know, like fantasies that you have when you're asleep, or they really are telling you about your reality. They're really telling you about what separates you from what you want. Perhaps your dreams are showing you limiting beliefs that you have about things you want in your life, about relationships you have. And this comes back to the core of reality, which is you and you. 
which is me. For me, my, the core of my reality is me. The core of your reality is you. If your unconscious mind is giving you dreams, they are showing you the lens, the filters through which you are perceiving reality. And those are gifts if you're not happy, if you're not enjoying great health, if you're not enjoying great relationships, if you're not enjoying prosperity. The, these dreams are telling you, hey, have a look at these little belief programs. Maybe they're not serving you as as best as you possible as best as possibly could. Okay, so my challenge for you now is to take a pen and paper and keep it by your bed or somewhere where you you know where you're by the kettle or on your desk. It's just so when you wake up in the morning, you write down any dreams you had. You may have nights where you don't really have any significant dreams, or you may have nights where you have the most deepest dreams ever. The more you get in the habit of communicating with your unconscious mind through your dreams the more dreams it's going to give you because it knows it's going to get through to you. And uh, it's a wonderful tool to use in your self-development, in your self-growth, and in your long-term happiness. This is Roger McDonald from Positive Emotional Healing. Have a fantastic day.